Welcome to this video lecture series on transportation engineering. In this session, we shall discuss on the numericals on the vertical curves. The statement of the first numerical is as follows. A vertical summit curve is formed at an intersection of the two gradients that is plus 4% and minus 6%. That means we have a vertical summit curve with an ascending portion of plus 4% gradient and then a descending gradient of minus 6%. Design the length of the summit curve to provide a stopping side distance for a design speed of 80 km per hour. Assume any other data suitably. So the given data to us is N1 is plus 4%, N2 is minus 6%, whereas the design speed it is 80 km per hour. Here we assume time t as 2.5 seconds and coefficient of friction f as 0 0.35. So as there is an ascending gradient on one side of the summit curve and descending gradient on the other side, hence the effect of the gradient on the stopping side distance, it will be assumed to be compensated and hence we can neglect the calculations for the compensation. So the stopping side distance it can be calculated by using the formula 0 0.278 v into t multiply by plus v square upon 254 into f. So substituting the values we get 0 0.278 multiply by 80 multiply by 2.5 plus 80 square upon 254 into 0 0.35. So the stopping side distance we get that is 127.6 meters that will be approximately equals to 128 meters. Now again the angle of deviation n it will be calculated as n1 minus n2. So again substituting the values of n1 and n2 we get 0.04 plus 0 0.06. So the angle of deviation n, it comes out to be as 0 0.1. Now if we assume that the length of the summit curve, it is greater than that of this stopping side distance, then using the formula as n equals to n square upon 4.4 and substituting the values as angle of deviation n equals to 0 0.1 and stopping side distance s yes, as 128 square divided by 4.4 we get the length of the summit curve as 372.36 meters. So that will be the length of the summit curve. We will see one more numerical on the valley curve now. So the statement for the second numerical on the vertical curves is as follows. Design a valley curve at the junction of a downward gradient of 1 in 30 and a level stretch from headlight concentration. The stopping side distance is 180 meters. So the given data to us it is the downward gradient of 1 in 30. That is the slope. Next, yes that is the stopping side distance of 180 meters and we have to design the valley curve. So the first case when the total length of the valley curve L it is greater than the stopping side distance. So now using the formula as L equals to N square upon 1.5 plus 0 0.35 multiply by S. Substituting the values, 
we get 1 by 30 into 180 square divided by 1.5 plus 0 0.035 multiplied by 180. So that equals to 1080 upon 7.8 and the length of the value curve L it will be equals to 138.46 meters. Now considering the second condition. That is the total length of the valley curve L when it is less than the stopping site distance. So using the formula 2 into S minus 1.5 plus 0 0.035 multiplied by S upon N. So here substituting the values we get 2 into 180 minus 1 1.5 plus 0 0.35 multiplied by 180 divided by 1 by 30 with the angle of deviation. So the total length of the valley curve when L will be equals to Z, uh, the stopping side distance will be equals to 126 meters. So these were the numericals on the vertical curves for the summit curve and the valley curve respectively. I hope you must have understood the numerical. So with this we shall stop. Thank you.